Hello and welcome to your next C++ LEGO 5 platform tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to uh, be <coughs> um, finishing off what we didn't get to finish off last tutorial and we're going to be modifying the menu manager. Now in the menu manager class uh, we had a we had a two dimensional vector and the reason why we had a 2D vector was because um, for each animation uh, for each item it could have multiple animations and that's why we had it since we majorly modified our animation class we don't need to do this anymore so we can have we can get away with a 1d vector now for every other type of animation that we're gonna have like our fade animation and stuff we have to make instances of that as well so we just have to put that there so in our set animations function right all we got to do is you can get rid of this second function right here. Okay. And let us move this here. So instead of having temp animations, change to animation. And we will say animation dot pushback new animation. Okay, so we got that set and we don't need this temp animation right here. Okay, so everything is the way that it should be here. Now, all we have to do is go down to our, first of all, we just need, we in our unload content, we just need to delete animation I and clear that. And in our update method, right, in our for loop, what we're going to do is that we're going to say for J is less than animation types dot size. So now we're going to just say that if animation types J is equal to fade then we will call f animation dot update and then we'll pass in our update so animation i and uh, i guess we have to dereference yeah, yeah so sorry we're gonna have to you have to put the pointer symbol in there to actually pass in the actual value sorry for that but yeah um if we don't if we don't put the the, this operator right here then we're not we're passing the address not we're not passing it by value so anyways um we pass it in right there and we're probably going to want to do this above it anyways so we'll say animation is active equal to true is active is equal to false okay and we don't need to call this update function because our fade animation will fade it for us and if we have different animations like we could say else if animation types j equals zoom so say we have a zoom animation right then we can call our zoom animation so on and so forth so we can do that and in the end uh this should all work out so instead of looping through everything like that we just have to do loop do one for loop so it makes it a lot easier right so when you have to loop do one for loop because um our update it handle all our animations and so on and so forth for all of us so we don't need to draw but before what we were doing was just drawing like three different times for all the different animation types we had now we just need to draw it once because each animation class did its modifi modification for us. So let's run this and I never really checked to see if this would fix all the errors in our program but hopefully it does. So it didn't so let's check this out see what's wrong. I'm not sure oh yeah so we gotta put set is active we gotta have the brackets there and let's see let's run this one more time so we got a few more errors 
Uh, so in animation update, we forgot to change this to make this an animation instance. So and a. And let's try this one last time. So we got this. And now we see it says vector subscript out of range. Okay, so when we get to our menu manager, uh, it is out of range. We got to figure out what is out of range. So it probably has something to do with uh, the animations because, yeah. So let's see what we did wrong. Okay, so I think I think I figured out the problem right here. It says. Um, animation dot size minus one I and mean, we don't even really need to do that we can easily just put i because for each loop we're going to be creating a new instance of it anyways right uh so it's we can just put i in there and let's see if it's still the same error and no so we got everything set up the way it should be and we clean up our code a little bit it's it's looking a bit better so there's one more thing that I want to try. So um, if we don't need to work with pointers, then we could try and avoid them if we need to, right? So I'm going to try this out. So we're not going to use a pointer here. And we're going to do, instead of pushing back a new animation, every single loop, let's just create a new instance of animation. And let's see if this will work. And we push back that. And instead of putting that, we just put a dot operator. And because of this, we're gonna have to go to our. Uh, we can we'll comment this out for now. And in our update, we'll change it from the pointer to the dot. And let's try this out. Let's see, if this actually works. Uh, so we're getting an error oh for right here so we remove that pointer symbol and voila so it does work so we could do it any any way you'd want to do it you could do it with a pointer or without the pointer if if you don't need to use a pointer then you don't then don't use one right it's better it's easier to manage if you you don't have to remember to delete it or something like that so it's really up to you which one you want to do so I'm just gonna keep it with that method and I'm gonna end this tutorial here so don't forget to comment rate and subscribe hope you enjoyed this I hope you're looking forward to the next tutorial so that's it and bye